Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a teardown video of this Braun 1250 lumens flashlight. Well hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you're a regular subscriber, welcome back. Glad to see you here again. If you're new to the channel, how about hitting that subscribe button so you get notified of all future videos I produce, whether they be teardown videos, repair videos, DIY projects, tool reviews, product reviews, whatever they may be, I am sure you'll enjoy it. Anyway, so a little while back, I did a video on this 1200 lumen, 1250 lumens uh, LED shop light from Braun Harbor Freight. And I did a review on it, went through the whole process of explaining everything about this flashlight, and I compared it to a few other lights. I'll put a link on that video if you want to get a little more information about this little light here, and how much it costs, what it uh, compares to, and so forth. Now, what I was curious about was, when I got this flashlight and I was looking at it, putting through the paces and so forth, I was wondering to myself, what is inside this, this little shop light right here? Because... It is closed up in the back. There is no access panel. So it is obviously battery operated. Now does that mean that it is a disposable light? When the battery goes bad, you just throw it away? Or can the batteries be replaced? Uh, it is a rechargeable lithium ion battery, 3.7 volts. So is it your standard replaceable battery like a regular flashlight would have or not? Is it sealed in there? Is it soldered in there? What is going on? So I decided time to do a teardown and see what's going on inside this little flashlight. So let's do that right now. Now it basically takes a T3 to open this up. Let's find out what's going on in here because if this can, if you can replace the batteries on this flashlight it would make it a lot better unit than if you cannot. Obviously if the LEDs go bad you're out of luck. But if the battery goes bad can you just swap it out? So let's see how much we can see in here. Is it all sealed up? Is it one big board? Let's find out. And here we go. Okay get these out of here first. I don't want to lose them. Okay, so what we have is a very simple circuit board. Let me put this up so you can see it better. What we have is a very simple circuit board. You have your switch, you have your charge port, and you have your USB port right there, and some lights to indicate what's going on. And over here, you have your battery. Now the battery seems to be your standard let me pull this out of here. Actually, let's unplug it. Let's see, can we unplug? They put some hot glue on top of it so that you do not remove it, but we can take that off and we can remove it. Now, let me pull this off of here. So it says 18650. 3.7 volts, 4,400 milliamps, and there is all the rating information for you. This may be easily replaceable. I mean, you may be able to just find this on the internet and replace it. It does have a simple plug, and even if you find this battery, a generic brand, let's say, and it's not the exact same one, but it has the same voltage, milliamp, etc., you can always cut this and adapt it to your new battery. As long as the electronics are the same, the connector should not matter. So you can always cut it. I mean, it is only positive and negative. That's all it is. So you're very, very, it's a very easy process to just cut it and replace the connector. So that's a good thing right there. It is, let me see, let me compare it to this one. Is it two of these in here? Possibly. It may just be this standard, uh, what is this number here, uh, 18650? Yeah, yeah, it is exactly that. 186, it's a pair of 18650s wired together. So you can actually cut
cut this open and uh, take off the little covers on both ends and it's two of these batteries soldered together. So as long as you could wire this up yourself, you can replace it with two standard 18650 batteries. So that is pretty good. So there you go. It's not very complicated at all. I didn't suspect it would be. There is uh, a look inside there under the cob. There's not much, I mean, under the, uh, the wiring there, the circuit board, not much going on there. Not much at all. And let's see, will it turn on opened up like this or does it have doesn't seem like it has any kind of protector plate on it. Let me see about putting this back in there. Take off some of the glue off of there. Okay, that's secure. And will it run? There you go. It's working. So very, very simple. So the question is answered that is this a disposable flashlight and the answer is not really because you can replace the battery yourself get a couple of these and wire them up together or buy this packet right off the internet already put together and plug it right in there that's a very simple process pretty much any DIY guy should be able to do this himself or herself at home on top of your bench very very simple two of these little tape put them together close this back up and you are back in business my friend so that's a good way to keep this baby going as long as possible because I have a feeling that the batteries will wear out before the cob wears out because most of these rechargeable batteries they have a limited life you're only looking at 150 200 charges somewhere around there I can't be specific because they're all different but you have a limited life they don't go on forever so uh, you can fix it. You can fix it and keep it going. Let me put it back together. I'll be right back. okay there you go so here we go and it works perfectly there you go everything works the lights all work everything's perfect back in shape just the way it was supposed to be so this is what's inside there now you know it's the simple 18650 batteries easily replaceable not as easy as opening up a flashlight and sliding it out of there but it can be done so there you go. Hope you learned something from this. Hope you enjoyed the teardown. Hit that subscribe button so you get notified of all future videos I produce. If you have any questions or comments about what I did here or how to do it or anything I saw, what I was in there, which 
was fairly simple. You saw everything I saw. But anyway, questions, comments, criticisms, whatever, put them down below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you guys back here next time. Bye-bye for now.